fermentation. Uh, the cannabis are not produced by those specific chemical mixtures that produce beautiful colored foods. The sparks are small pieces of fuel that can turn into burning wood. And without chemistry, you couldn't have the burning mixtures, without the burning mixtures, you wouldn't have foods. Every plant in the composition has at least one chemical that's oxygen rich and oxidizer. Potassium nitrate means to make black powder. Potassium chloride means to melt color compositions. Strontium nitrate is an oxygen rich chemical, but the strontium being in the oxide produces a weak flame color. And then you need a fuel that's going to combine with the oxidizer. So that's like us. The fuels are things like sulfur. So now you're going to have to be there. Oxidizers have to be there. Fuel, fuel part in there. Sulfur, charcoal, aluminum powder, magnesium powder. Then what is that you require? You require a heat. Most people want to take a fire and stick in the sky and explode it. He demonstrates how the aerial shell is made. This is an aerial shell. This is what people do to watch a fire and stick in the sky. It's a lovely chasm. The bottom has a little pocket of black powder, brown little black powder propellant. There's a very different time fuse that goes from the propellant into the center of the vessel. That determines when the shots are going to burst up in the air. The inside of the spear itself has a black powder bursting charge, and then a number of little green paint and magnet sized pellets of chemical mixture that will produce different colors, different visual effects and then they show up or something. So this device is placed in a number two and the fuse or if it's going to be electric and fire the well and it stands out of the number two. But the exact time you fire it to the signal's given the book is pushed. The power of books. And it throws this device up into the air. At the same time as the delay fuse, which is running from the power of the book, the signal the show is burning. And then three, four, five seconds later, the thing you have all you wanted to do, turns into a single of the shell, lets up, doesn't have a burst in charge, and boom, throws the shell and put it in the spot, and the same thing with the colors, the sparks, and the effects, the patterns that have been mentioned in that, and the way it goes. What do those colors by using the fact that different chemical elements heat up the high temperature, but none of this energy by emitting very specific particles of water? Well, this is the, the stuff that we keep a lot of certain chemicals. So, copper oxide is a chemical that we can use. So, if you use copper oxide, you get a blue color. If you use a barium acid, you get a green color. Strontium, you use a red color. Strontium, you use a red color. Strontium, you use a red color. Sodium silicate or a carbonate, you get a yellow color. Nitrate, you get a yellow color. Barium acetate, I said that barium, actually you are, you are doing the test actually, the salt analysis you will be doing, apple green test, that's a barium acetate. This color, you start with a burning mixture, you need an oxidizer, fuel, and then you add the oxidizer, fuel, plus color, right? Potassium perchlorate and red gum, you get red, red. Barium carbonate, green color. Copper oxide, blue, perfect chemistry. He says it's perfect chemistry. Strontium nitrate and magnesium. Now you get a very rich red. I'm taking out this mixture of the model, model, and cross no reason. This should be the most great spark effect. But I'm not sure exactly what's uh, going to happen when I test something and I want to do this before. And I'm not the fan. And then, I'm going to do this before. Wow.
So chemistry and color is really mixed like. Chemistry and color is really carbon nanotube. Can you have a different tubes? How tubes are formed? Tubes are formed like this. Right? The tubes are simply, you, you take the sheet material and roll it, you get beautiful tubes. I take a graphene and roll it, I get a carbon tube. How these tubes are formed? So the exciting thing is, can I have my own uh, tubes? Can I have my own uh, uh, bond like a carbon tube? And you do mathematics and then you prove that the biological molecule wraps on this. Whenever the biological molecule loses its structure, it loses its function, therefore the function of the material is also. So this is one area in which we look at that. The other area is, these are the details I don't want to spend here. In fact, this is the first article in this particular area, therefore it is published as a cover article in the Journal of Physical Chemistry. Another one, how these molecules are interacted with the graphene, right, it's another carbon electrode. So we, that also it came as a cover article in Journal of Physical Chemistry. The other idea here is, as I said, that we are excited with the fullerene. So we wanted to create our own molecules. Is it possible to create a fullerene with any other material? That's why we did some work. We started with what is called the other molecule. And you can see that in a computer, we could show that it forms a ball-like structure. All right, we know how to do this mathematics how to obtain this particular structure, that is, we, we have this, tools are available with us, and we prove that this uh, is similar to the fullerene, Buckman's and fullerene, C60, I can use it. It's a spherical bar, zero dimensional. It's called a zero dimensional quantum bar. Anybody else? Okay. It's a spherical, but it, the symmetry is called a Akasa symmetry, which we have not seen. New world, new plans, new ideas, and new things. Let us start our life through this day. Good morning to one and all. Now I request Professor Vegetation Department of Physics near Memorial College to Alana Shore and Vivari the moment. Around 800 uh, or 700 million channel at a time. 
when we started using satellite for communication, even now India we are using it. But in 2014, December, we are not going to use it because fiber is well connected or we are already connected all our cities by using fiber optics. So, on the current day, we have a satellite will not use and from January 2015, complete information will be transmitted only through optical fiber throughout the world, not only in India. When the world satellite will be used only for communicating with this secrecy and other navigation and cyclone weather and other for other concepts. So this again, fiber optics actually came around 1970. So I will just explain again these things in the next few slides. And this will tell again internet came around 1990. We will just discuss these two things in detail now. Then I will go to fiber optic communication. So in 1850, the communication was very very slow, unbelievably slow. Any information, for example, if you have a mobile version, just to find your friend and relative number one. You can get the connection. But in 1850, it took almost many months to get the transmit information from one point to another point. That's the message I'm using it here. In 1850, the message was very slow. And the bit rate in the first time, the second one is the first one. So, almost one bit is the second one. But now we are using 10 to 9 times of this type of. You can do like this up to 10 to 9 per second. That's the rate at which we are communicating. But in 1850, the first one is the first one. It was almost weeks or months it actually takes. And we have taken a lot of time to transmit information from one point to another point. From weeks, the first one is the first one. 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 From weeks, the first one is the first one. Because of development technology. You see that it came down to one hour or less than one hour. It was around 1900. It has been reduced to minutes or hours. And in 1950, a lot of developments took place. And around 2004, after 2004, a large amount of information you can transmit. That is because of fiber optics and satellite communications. So, as such, we started with months or years, even weeks together. Then we reduced into minutes or hours. Then finally, you can see that we are transmitting almost uh, within no second or no delay, we are transmitting almost all our information with high bit rate and high amount of information. So let us see why, why it has happened or what are the reasons responsible for all these things. So for all these things, the major the basic idea came from uh, World Wide World. So we are combining, uh, so as such I am not claiming only physics people responsible for development of communication. It is actually responsibility of development done by all areas of science and technology, starting with computer science, electrical engineer, uh, electronics and communication, chemistry people for growing or uh, fabricating fiber, physics people for inventing cotton production and other uh, changes in terms of the product index. I'm in many aspect, uh, it is actually a combined effect of all the people as scientists, uh, those who came from uh, science and technology, I can say in general. And because of the world wide we are enjoying all your communication, downloading, everything is happening this with the help of fiber and also the value of all electronic items. So now let us here have to concentrate only on the photonic communication. So as such, for the phone on 1876, you can see the idea. 1876, the idea on the has drawn the picture, he has given it to engineer, and it took nearly four years to complete the diagram. And after that, our modern technology is together. He has given it to engineers, and then phone, actually it was, Officially used, the record says, 1918, sorry, 1918, next one, our friend wanted, please come to my room, our first word, our use for another. But actually, the idea came around 1876. So, I got one night on the phone alarm, put it on the drawing, put it on the phone, and then battery, LMA, receiver, transmitter, LMA, in the circuit, they have to do it. And they have taken almost four years to finish the circuit. And in 1918, it was actually officially used as a phone. First word was, please come to my chamber. You can see some slides later. And then uh, some of the, because after that everybody started installing code. You know, under time when there are major attraction in communication. So everybody wanted to use the phone, but the bandwidth was unbelievably very slow. Uh, already some number of very bit, up to 30 bit per second was it. And it was slowly in array development took place, array switches like under which You will see all the system may be, that will be useful for you in uh, many understanding fiber optics. In 1948, slowly some developments in science took place. So then you can see a lot of developments actually. The satellite around the 1960, almost we have started using it in communication and other purpose. And finally you can see that picture phone came, but it was not officially or 
it was not so successful. Then people are promptly said, oh, no company came forward to produce this. And then fiber optics taken over all your communication, uh, or communicating uh, things with high speed, with very good accuracy, no loss of information, high security. Because of so many reasons, uh, enter world or, ent or most of the governments in the world, they opted for fiber optic communication. So as such, because electrical material, connecting material, we have a lot of problem. And bandwidth and number of lines, uh, phone will be in the copper rail, the quartz cell and the model communication line. At the time, you can transmit around 600 to 700 channels. Now, why the wireless is like the TV channel, because there are 8 million, 8 million TV channels you can transmit. And there are things we have unbelievable bandwidth, with very good accuracy, and there are all, a uh, lot of plus points are there. That's the reason we have done for optical fiber. <laughs> so, if you are searching, uh, uh, you have to, um, um, see a scan for him, you can see the only network will be there. So, and also the highly demanding, we have a lot of private parties taking part into this uh, particular uh, uh, this telecommunication uh, window. So, you have a that is uh, this actually US and uh, Europe lens scan on a particular network. As such, we have uh, connecting uh, Europe with uh, America, uh, North America, uh, including Canada and US. So, you see that almost network is unbelievably busy. So, the reason we are actually using it, I explained it fiber or information like anything. And every day, the number of lines are demand for communication is increasing day by day. So, I know that have to cope with this. So, many, many new things are coming up. And uh, finally, they settle with uh, the current setup where you are in the online communication. The data rate already is written. Uh, initially, we have started with one bit. Now, we are using 10 power 9 times. But in uh, abroad, uh, Germany, France, we have 10 power 12 times. And then, when uh, other. Uh, Another reason for the